very good day to everybody this is object oriented programming and in this class we discuss about the basics of c++ programming how you try to go with outputting or maybe printing with c out statement what are the directives like input with the c in input okay the type boolean function the set w set with manipulator and the type conversions with the c++ okay so this is especially for you my dear students and young researchers and you can reach me at d@christianan at the rate of gmail.com so before beginning the session once again let me thank god for giving me this opportunity to deliver this useful session to share my knowledge among my fellow national international participants students and young researchers right so actually uh, the object oriented programming is all about c++ so you have to understand the basics and you have to program it into okay so here in this class we will discuss about the basic input as well as output function in the c++ what are the header file setters available in c++ especially for input output operation for example you have in c you have std io.h or maybe uh, conio.h conio.h okay manipulation function so everything is available okay so c out and c in in c++ that we'll be discussing and what is the difference between c error and c out okay and how buffer is going to affect our programming okay how you try to clear the input buffer that you will be getting the desired results what is the boolean data type function especially available in c++ what are the important points about the boolean data type in c++ and about the uh, c++ manipulator set set with function okay so i've already given the independent work in the hems please complete them before the deadline so at regular intervals i'll be giving you some short videos to discuss the knowledge in our topics right so this is the basic input function okay like uh, c++ whenever you say like you have like libraries okay so that you will have like input as well as output function so in c++ both the input as well as output you can perform as a series of bytes okay what you call it to be streams okay so for this one we categorize into two input stream and output stream so input stream means if the direction of the flow of bytes is from the device maybe like keyboard to the main memory okay main memory then this process is called input and output means if the direction of flow of bytes is opposite from the main memory to the display screen okay so if the output stream is all about if the direction of flow of bytes is opposite like from the main memory to the display screen something is displayed then it is called as the output okay so in the program you have c input and c output okay which means that we are inputting through the keyboard and you are outputting through the screen okay right and in the screen you have two function okay c error and c log or we c out okay so this is the input output stream like uh, normally it's a library so input output stream is nothing but a standard input output stream so normally you will have like header fields like c in c out c error okay so that's how you go for okay then you have manipulation function so it's nothing but input output manipulators so here the methods declared in the files are used for manipulating the streams okay so files will be having like set width set precision and so on okay then you have the file stream f stream okay so the header file uh, will be describing the file stream so the header file will be handling the data that is being read from the file as maybe a uh, input or maybe data being written into the file what you call it to be output okay so this is what you try to read it input and writing into the file that's output okay so there are two instances in c++ you have c out in c++ and c in in c++ of the input output stream class okay so c out c in so that's how what you are going to take the inputs and you are going to print the output okay so similarly in c programming also c++ programming also you try to process the results and you try to output it in a you know c out that's how you go for printf statement in c c programming okay so these two are the most basic methods how you try to take the input and maybe print the output in the c++ and in order to use the c input and c output you should include the header file input output stream okay so this is c out okay so that's how you are going to have the standard output device so c++ output statement is nothing but the instance of the output stream class so you are going to produce the output on the standard output device that is actually the display screen okay so the data is that has to be displayed is actually inserted in the standard output stream c out 
using the insertion operator double less than symbol okay so this is the program hash include io stream using namespace std function in main function so character sample you will have object oriented program then you will have c out okay the sample for all students and researchers okay that's the next line okay then return zero so in the output if you can see object oriented programming then the, the this one it appears continuously okay hyphen for all students and researchers okay. so here you are going to go for you know insertion operator that is here so this is the insertion operator that you are adding after this object oriented program okay so this insertion operator is going to insert the value of the string variable which is nothing but sample okay so that sample you are storing it as for all students and researchers so that is going to add into so it is not printing sample but it is printing what are the contents that is present in the sample okay so that's how you print it using the c out okay then you have standard input stream c in so input is nothing but the keyboard okay so c plus plus c in statement is nothing but the instance of the class input stream that is going to read the input from the standard input device which is nothing but the keyboard okay so here in the input you will go for extraction operator extraction is double greater than symbol double less than is insertion operator okay so extraction you are going to use along with the c in for reading the inputs okay so extraction operator as the name implies it is going to extract the data from the c input which is entered using the keyboard okay so for example an example for this one in the input statement hash include i go string using namespace std function in main function int age okay c out double less than what is the double less than insertion operator enter your age then c input double greater than symbol extraction which means that you are going to extract the age okay so c out now insertion it's your age is it's nothing but the age and return zero okay so if you can see in the input for example you return own second age okay then definitely your output would be enter your age then it will display your age is 80 okay so this is a very simple program to input the age then the c in is connected to the input device as well and the age is actually extracted from the c input using the extraction operator and extracted data is actually stored in the variable called as the age okay then you have unbuffered standard error string okay so there is a c e r r c error okay so that's a standard error stream that is going to output the errors okay so that's the instance of the output stream class so as the c error in c plus plus is unbuffered so which means that you have to display the error message immediately okay so that's how it goes so error means error should be displayed okay so it does not have any buffer to store the error message and just displays it later okay so we'll have the difference between c error and c out okay so this is how you are going to redirect the output okay using the c out so that's how that gets redirected if you use the c error okay the error doesn't get stored in the file so that's the only difference so c error it's not, it is not going to store it but c out you are going to store the output okay so that's the way it goes okay so hash include i was stream using namespace std function in main function c error and error occurred return zero okay so the output you will see an error occurred okay so that's how you will go, go with error record and it is going, not going to store it in any file okay. so this is also one particular instance of the output stream classes as well okay and you are going to display the errors but you know unlike c error the error is actually first inserted into the buffer and is actually stored into the buffer until it is not fully filled okay so that's the reason uh, like you will have this function hash include i go string use using namespace std function in main function c log okay so that's how you will go with this one okay so it's a buffered standard error string okay so c log and error occurred return zero okay so the output you will see an error occurred okay so you will have like temporary storage also what you call it to be buffer okay so you know you have already studied about buffer okay so the input and output devices will be containing input buffer as well as output buffer okay even in standard c programming or maybe c plus plus programming the streams are buffered for example in the case of the input we press the key on the keyboard okay it is not sent to the program rather it is buffered by the os okay till the time is actually allotted by the 
program okay so that is how it goes okay on several occasions you have to clear this you know unwanted buffer even so uh, in order to get the next input in the desired container and not in the buffer of the previous variable okay for example if you take in the case of c programming let us if you take yeah, you print like a scan can scan of statement like print uh, inputting the statement okay so if you need to input a character array or maybe a character okay and in the case of c++ you go with c in so that's how c++ c in uh, c programming scan up okay we require to input a character array or maybe a string we have to clear the input buffer or else the desired input is occupied by the buffer of the previous variable not by the desired container so that's how it goes so you have to clear that input buffer okay so on pressing that enter key or maybe carriage return okay on the output screen as the buffer of the previous variable was the space for the new container okay the program is actually skipping the following input of the container okay. so this is the c programming not clearing the input buffer will cause undesired results so you have to clear the input buffer so if it is not clear means what will happen so this is a c code to explain why not clearing the input buffer causes undesired outputs okay so hash include stdio.h in main function character string of 80 so 80 is the size okay then you have ch okay scan input from the user okay so scan of percentage or maybe model as yes string str okay so this you'll have scan character from the user a okay so character is equal to get character okay and printing the character array you are going to print object oriented programming so printf model as yes slash n str you are going to print okay so but in reality this does not print the character a okay like uh, print f model as c ch return zero okay so if you go with object oriented programming then a it will be printing only object oriented programming because if you are not going to clear the input buffer so that's the impact okay. then uh, even in c++ also you have the same scenario not clearing the input buffer causes undesired results okay we'll have the c++ code to explain why not clearing the input buffer causes undesired output so hash include there we had stdio.h but here input output stream okay hash include vector okay using namespace std function int main function okay so you will have int a character ch the size is actually 80 so enter input from the user maybe like minus 4 okay so c input a then get input from the user like object oriented programming so c in dot get line character comma 80 okay that is going to print 4 okay so c out a okay then n1 then printing string that actually does not print the string okay so c out okay ch okay the n1 return 0 so if you give the input as 4 and in object oriented programming it will not print the string but instead it will print only 4 okay so that's what is the impact of not clearing the input buffer so as you can see like the output is not printed as desired for, 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 for the first example like first statement is printed second is not printed c++ uh, case first is actually uh, printed but second is not printed string is not printed okay so the reason is nothing but the occupied buffer okay which means that the, the new line character okay goes remains there in the buffer and is read as the next input okay so how you can solve it so you can go with while get character of not equal to slash n so maybe if you type this one that is going to read the buffer characters till the end and it will be discarding you know the new line as well so maybe even if you try to use the scan of statement that will be clearing the input buffer and it will be allowing the input in the desired container okay so this is the impact of using that particular statement okay why get character not equal to slashing okay so we will have this one okay so hash include stdio.h this is a c programming okay in main function character str of 80 ch same thing i'm i'm repeating okay scan of model as yes str okay so here you are going to flush the standard input that is going to clear the input buffer this is the statement this is very very important so while get character not equal to slash n okay so that is going to scan the character from the user a okay so ch is equal to get character okay so print the character array okay so that will be printing the object oriented programming so print f model as yes slash n str okay 
so then it will be printing the character a it will be printing now it will be printing a okay so that is go uh, like print f okay modulus c ch return 0 so if you type the input as object oriented programming then a like in the previous example we did not include that particular statement so a was not printed okay so now object oriented programming printed a is also printed okay so you can go with typing the f flush stdin okay after the scanf statement that also is going to clear the input uh, buffer but use of it maybe you can you know avoid it as well okay that's what you call to be undefined for the input stream in the c++ okay so maybe in the case of c++ you will include this statement okay so c in dot ignore numeric limits max slash n so this one after the input statement we will be discarding everything in the input statement including the new line so this is the implication of clearing the input buffer so this is the example so you will try to use f flush of standard in okay so c plus plus code to explain how you'll you go with this one c in dot ignore numeric limits okay so that uh, stream size max of slash in okay so hash include uh, io stream for stream size include the ios okay then you'll have the numeric limits include limits then you'll have using namespace std function in main function okay so in a character string of 80 the program remains the same okay so enter input from the user maybe minus 4 c inputs nothing but a that's going to discard the input buffer so this is the line that you are going to add c in dot ignore numeric limits stream size max okay slash n okay so that you are going to get the input from the user c in dot get line str comma 80 okay so that is going to print 4 so see how a i'm printing string that will actually print the string also so c plus plus you if you saw in the previous example string was not printed but now using that particular line the string will be printed okay so if you give the input like four object oriented programming in the previous case uh, the string was not printed so four was only printed but now object oriented programming will also be printed okay. then you'll go with c in dot sync function that is going to discard all that is left in the buffer okay so even that does not work in all of the implementations will have okay so c plus plus code to explain the usage of c in dot sync function that is going to discard the input buffer so hash include io stream hash include ios hash include limits using namespace std function in main function so int a character string of 80 okay so you'll enter the input from the user minus 4 for example so c in a that is going to input the buffer so now you include c in dot sync function okay that's the implication okay so get the input from the user c in dot get line string comma 80 so that is going to print 4 so c out a and this is going to print string this is how will print the string now okay so c out str return 0 so in the input if you give 4 and then object oriented programming you will get the output as only 4 so that is what is going to you know discard the what is actually left in the buffer okay. then you will have c in ws okay so after you can after the uh, c in statement you are going to ignore the buffer and you are going to discard all the white spaces w s y space okay Be that is going to discard before the actual content of the string or maybe character array okay so this you are going to include okay so hash include ivo string hash include vector using namespace std function in main function int a you are going to specify an integer string yes okay now you are going to input the uh, enter the input okay for example for c input a okay so this one is you are going to discard the input buffer and you are going to initialize the white spaces of the string that is how you'll go with c input greater than greater than w s white space okay so you are going to get the input from the user okay object oriented programming like get line c in comma s yes. that is actually going to print 4 and of course object oriented programming of course it will be printing a like a and s yes also it will be executing okay so c out a c out s yes. so in the input if you can see 4 and object oriented programming both the things will be displayed 4 and object oriented programming so this is the you know implication of the white space extracting for the white space and 
you have boolean data type also okay so maybe if you take in the case of ansi american national standard institute <coughs> c++ standard or maybe iso they have added like new data types especially for the c++ specifications so for better control in the situations uh, you can you know uh, be much more comfortable you can have much more convenience to the c++ programmers so one thing is the boolean function so maybe boolean means you know either it is true or it will be false okay so boolean b1 equal to true you are going to declare a boolean variable okay with the true value maybe in c++ the data type boolean has been introduced to hold the boolean value maybe it's true or maybe false okay so maybe the true or maybe false are be added as the keywords in the c++ language okay so default you can know true means one false means it's actually zero okay so we can use the boolean type variables okay true or false okay in mathematical expressions also for example int x is equal to false plus true plus x okay that is actually valid if the expression will will evaluate to maybe some okay so one maybe false means maybe zero true means it's actually one plus six it's actually seven so only if it is seven means it, uh, it is actually valid if you are getting eight means it's actually invalid okay so it's possible to convert okay implicitly the data type integer or maybe floating point values specifically to the boolean type okay for example you have this one boolean x is equal to 0 so that's actually false okay boolean y equal to 100 it's actually true boolean z is equal to 15.75 still it is true okay so we'll have the c++ program to illustrate the boolean function data type so hash include io string using namespace std function int main function so int x1 is equal to 10 x2 equal to 20 m is equal to 2 now you specify boolean b1 b2 okay so you will have b1 equal to x1 that is compared with x2 okay so you, you are going to compare okay so that's actually false b2 is equal to x1 less than x2 so each of the values you are going to have okay for example this one x1 10 x2 20 m equal to 2 so everything you are going to compare okay b1 equal to x1 that is compared with x2 b2 is equal to x1 less than x2 okay so everything you are comparing okay so uh, c out is equal to b1 you are going to print it print it out and c out b2 is okay then boolean b3 equal to true if b3 then c out yes else case c out no okay so in x3 is equal to false plus phi multiplied by m minus b3 then you are going with output of the x3 okay and then return 0 so the output you will have b1 0 b2 1 so in this case you will be you know calculating okay so in the s case means like false plus you know phi plus um, multiply by m minus b3 okay so that is how you will go with printing the output 9 then you will have set width manipulator function okay so you are going to specify the width it's nothing but the minimum number of character positions in the output field that the variable will actually consume okay so the manipulator that is given in io manipulator function so hash include io stream so that's the standard c out function and the n1 statement so hash include io manipulation so using namespace std function in main function so c out here you are going to set the width that's actually 10 okay so this is nothing but the minimum number of character positions on the output field that the variable will actually consume okay so c out 24 and 1 okay return 0 okay so here if you can see output that's actually 24 and this is an, another example hash include yes stream hash include input output stream input output manipulation function using namespace std function in main function so c out no set width function okay so that's actually 42 so set width of 6 that's actually set width of 6 42 okay so set width you'll have several elements 89 12 34 okay so you can have and is string stream is hello world okay then you'll go with character array of 10 okay is set width of 6 so you'll go with the input from the user okay so that what the set width of 6 actually give okay so you'll have uh, return 0 so finally if you can see no set with it is actually 42 set width of 6 is actually 42 and set width of 6 several elements okay it is actually 89 12 34 okay so that is how it goes input from 
is string that is string is actually hello world okay hello world with set with six gave this array what is that array hello okay. so this is the enumeration work for you classification of data structures arrays iterations invariants lists files and records characteristic of strings so everything you research into introduction description code of course you should have code c or maybe c++ with the snapshot of the output okay and conclusion so everything you have to submit them in the hms